In this session we will learn about two-dimensional graphics and plotting operations in Scilab. Scilab provides various functions for plotting and analyzing 2D data. It can plot lines, surfaces and texts. Let's explore these functions in more detail. Plot function is used to plot 2D XY data. It takes many optional arguments to customize the graphic entities. We can provide XY data in pairs along with their line spec property, which is used to specify how the curves are drawn. It is a string containing references to line style, marker and color specification. We can also make any of the axis display log scale using log flag property. Plotting commands are always directed to the active axis object of the current active figure. We can set the current figure, using GCF function and then using the GCA function, we activate any axis object for plotting. Line spec is an optional argument that can be used inside a plot command to customize each new line. It is a string containing information about color, line style, or markers. Let's see some examples where we plot some data in 2D plots. Using lin's pace command, we generate a row vector of equally spaced values, ranging from 0 to 1000 in steps of 100, for x-axis. Then we calculate a dummy function, which is used as data for y-axis. We pass the x and g values to the plot command to plot the curve. Now we execute the script and a new window opens with the curve plot. In the plot command, we now change the line style, color, and add marker to the curves. We can plot more than one curve in the plot by passing the xy data pairs with line spec property to the plot command. In this example, we are plotting a sine and cosine function with different line properties. In the line spec string for the first curve, R is for red color and O is for circle marker. In the second curve, solid line is specified by dash specifier with plus sign marker. Now, using the log flag property, we modify the x and y axis to display a logarithmic scale for the plot. Log flag is a string with two characters. First one applies to x axis and second to y axis. L stands for log and N stands for normal axis. Log flag applies to all curves plotted in the axis. Now, we explore surface plotting functions using which, we can plot 2D data on surfaces. Here functions are divided in two categories, in which one variant works on XY and Z data whereas other variant takes a reference to a function, to define the surface value. In 2D surface plots, Z is the value of data at X and Y coordinate. Let's see these functions in detail. Now. We define a surface in x and y direction in range of minus 10 to 10 units. Using random value generator function, we define values for the surface and use it at the x and y coordinates. Now, we plot the surface with gray plot function in a new figure. F gray plot is same as gray plot with only one difference, that it takes a reference of the function which calculate the values on the points of the surface. Here, we define a function my underscore surface, which takes x and y values of any point on the surface, and returns the z value. F gray plot function uses this function to evaluate the values of the points on the surface, and then plots the surface. In the F gray plot function, the rect argument is optional and is used to set the data bounds of the axis. SF gray plot is the same as F gray plot but the plot is smoothed. We can change the color variations by using various available color maps. Annotations on the plot are required to understand the type of data plotted in the axis. 
For that, Scilab has additional functions for annotating the plots. We can add legends and titles to the plot. We can set labels for all the axis. We can also turn on grid using xgrid function. In the example, after the plot command, we add title for the plot and legend for the curve. We also set the title of the axis to better understand the nature of the data plotted. In the plot window we see that, annotations are now present on the plot which provide useful information about the curve plotted. Scilab provides text plotting functions, in which we can plot strings and numbers on the graphics area. XString function is used to plot strings and XNum function is used to plot numbers at any location. In this example, we plot a text in the graphics area at a point. After plotting the text we obtain the handle of the text object to modify the font properties of the text. In the plot window, we see the text with modified properties. Now, we see other plot types available in Scilab. Scatter function creates a scatter plot with markers centered at the X and Y set of coordinates. Champ function draws a 2D vector field with arrows, having length of the arrows proportional to the intensity of the field. Polar plot, creates a polar coordinate plot of the angle theta, versus the radius rho. We can also plot some simple polygonal shapes like polygons and rectangles. X poly function is used for plotting both polyline and polygon. We specify the coordinates of the points in counterclockwise order, and if the polyline is closed, then polygon is plotted, else polyline is plotted. XF poly function only plots filled polygons. XRECT function, draws a rectangle defined by upper left point, width, and height. Multi-scaled plots, are used when we want to plot several curves, with different scales on the same plot. In these plots, any one of the axes is common for all curves. In this example, we create a plot with three curves, black, blue and red. We plot the black curve, and then create new axes for both blue and red curve using new axes function. Since x-axis is common for all the plots, we turn off the visibility of the x-axis, for the axis AX2 and AX3 using axis visibility property. We then set the location property of the axis to middle for blue curve and right for red curve. FEC function is used for plotting results from 2D finite element analysis. It can plot triangle or quadrilateral elements and interpolate color values specified at the nodes across the element surface. A color bar is used along with the plot to understand the variation of color on the plot. FEC function takes the X and Y coordinates of the nodes, triangles argument is the polygonal data matrix for the mesh, where the elements are listed and nodes of the elements are arranged in anti-clockwise direction. Let's see an example of how we can plot a mesh of quadrilateral elements. In this example, we put the coordinates of the nodes in separate X and Y arrays. The element data matrix has a specific format, where the first entry is the element number followed by the node numbers in counterclockwise ordering. The last entry is a flag which is always 1. The values at the nodes is provided in the variable Z array. In the FEC function, we pass all the arguments. The function definition has optional arguments like STRF, which controls the plotting of captions, and mesh equals true which allows plotting of element edges in the plot. Here we are using subplots to plot two meshes side by side with a color bar. That brings us to the end of this session. Thank you for your interest and attention.